Hi, how's everybody doing? It's Crazy Monkey here again. Alright, so in this blog update, you know, I want to talk about how if we're going to save the family, if we're going to save marriage, we've got to eliminate welfare, we got to eliminate alimony, got to eliminate vagina money, and another thing we got to do is legalize prostitution. And, and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, okay, Crazy Monkey, we eliminate welfare that would build the family back up, that would promote marriage. We eliminate vagina money, that would make men more willing to get married. Eliminate alimony, that would make men more willing to get married, so that would promote marriage. Eliminating welfare, you know, would promote, um, you know, keeping the family together. You agree with me on that, right? But you're probably thinking, how does legalizing prostitution support keeping the family together and promoting marriage. That's what you're thinking, right? Here's how, here's how. First off, only the single men could have sex with the prostitutes. Married men, it would show on their driver's license or ID card, it would show they're married and they would not be able to have sex with the prostitutes. Only single men, not married, would be legally allowed to have sex with the prostitutes, all right? And um, the reason why it would save marriage and save the family is because right now, as you know, women think they're princesses, they're arrogant as hell, they're entitled as hell. A lot of these women are gold digging, gold digging. They, they, they'll have a guy take them out to three or four different restaurants before they even give up the pussy. The guy spent like a thousand bucks on dates before he even gets the pussy. These women have become terrible. They become arrogant monsters. Not all, not all women are like that. Not all women. There's, there's good women out there that want to get married, have a family, and be good women. There are good women out there that want to have two kids, be a stay-at-home housewife for the first ten years. You know what I'm saying? There's good women out there, all right? But there's not very many. There's not very many, all right? Most of these women out there, you know, they're riding the cock carousel. They've gone to the university, learned all that feminazism, learned all that communist bullshit at the university. Now they got their degree and their worthless gender studies basket weaving or liberal arts degree or whatever worthless early child education degree they got. And they're making like $14 an hour. These women are in 50000 in student loan debt. They've rolled the cock carousel all through their college years. Now they're in the corporation and they're riding the cock carousel there. And they've been fucked by 50 or 100 guys. And then they're like 34 or 35 and they're all panicking because it's like they're single. And they have no children and they now they want a family and they want children. And you know, it's like, lady, you already like wrecked your life, okay? Just saying, just saying, you bought into that feminazism, that liberal left-wing socialist bullshit, and you wrecked your life. Alright? The reason why legalized prostitution will save the family, alright, and make woman great again, make woman great again. Maybe one day we can make America great again, too, by building the wall and giving tax cuts to the working class. Just saying, just saying. Just saying. <laughs> but anyway, but anyway, um, if we're going to make woman great again, if we're going to rebuild the family, if we're going to make marriage more attractive to men, got to eliminate the vagina money, alimony, got to eliminate that welfare state, and got to legalize prostitution, because then the good woman will see what happens if they fuck up. That's right, good lady. You fuck up, you cheat on your husband multiple times, you have a baby by another man. You're cheating on your husband with, with like Chad and Tyrone and all these other guys and one of them gets you pregnant and you have a baby with another man. That's right. And your husband divorces you. And then you will be working at the Victorian cat house. That's right. You're a woman. And you screw up your life really bad. There's no welfare. There's no vagina money. But the Victorian cat house is always hot.
hiring good-looking woman to work at the Victorian Cows. Just saying. And that is the reason why it will save marriage, promote marriage, save the family, promote the family. Because in the 1850s, in the 1870s, in the 1940s, prostitution was rampant. It was all over the place. And that was very good because then most women, they saw that and they saw that they did not want to be a prostitute working at the prostitute house, cat house. They did not want that for themselves. So they were a good woman. They were a good housewife. They were a good mother. They were a good wife. And they treated their husband with respect. And they raised the kids. And they were a stay-at-home housewife raising the kids. Doing their job. Doing it very good raising the kids. And taking care of their husband. That's right. Cooking, cleaning, and raising the kids. That's right. That's right. And they did that because they didn't want to be prostitutes. Because they knew that being a mother and a wife was the way to go. That's right. That's right. That's why we need to legalize prostitution. So we can make woman great again. And, and, and folks, one more time. I got to say this real quick. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking about the prostitutes are going to be wrecked. Because they're going to be fucked by hundreds of guys. That's true. But half these college women... These college women with these worthless fucking degrees and gender studies and all these other worthless degrees, they're already getting fucked by the whole football team and baseball team in college. They're already riding the cop carousel all through their corporate years for their corporate job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're already getting fucked by 50, 100 people. So it's like, <laughs> it's like they're already whores. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're going to do part two real quick.